real estate investors and developers. Today we're highlighting Robert L. Johnson. I'm pretty sure you recognize this individual. I hope you do. This is with Thelonious C. Jones. Thelonious C. Jones com if you want to learn more information about myself and we're going to get into this one because this individual has made some major major moves but first as i always do i have to tell you the goal of this presentation because i don't just want you watching it just for the sake of watching and not understanding what's the goal of me doing this first of all i just want to present to you black real estate investors and developers that we seldom hear of my mother teaches at a high school so at times this content may be showed to high schoolers and fast shout out to St. Croix Central High because um I just want people to learn about the heavyweights, man. Big big people. Not small, not six figures, nine figures plus. So everyone I highlight in this series owns or manages a hundred million dollars in assets, properties, real estate, or has done over a hundred million dollars in transactions. I want to give you a different perspective on the real estate game because there's no reason you shouldn't be doing this. And if you're not doing it, you should at least be thinking about it. Should be at least your end goal. So that's why I do this. If you have um also, if you have any requests on this, email me. If you have a request on a person I should do or highlight, please email me, thelonicjones.com. I mean thelonicjones at gmail.com. Thank you. Robert L. Johnson. Let's get into it. I've had to do this presentation over three times because uh, it's just so much information. So this is the last time I'm doing this presentation because it's like, man, this guy, you can literally talk about this guy for hours, hours. So he was born in 1946 in Hickory, Mississippi, the 10th of 17 siblings. Let's just say he had a pretty decent sized family. They moved to Freeport, Illinois as a young child, you know, probably just to get better access to a better life. And, um, he went to school, did his thing, graduated from high school, and ended up going to the University of Illinois, and then furthered his education at Princeton. And currently, Robert L. Johnson, also known, you may know him as Bob. Bob Johnson is worth $3 billion. That's his current net worth. So, this may help you to better understand the history of Robert L. Johnson. I want to just talk about the history of what he's done before we talk about, you know, what he's doing currently doing in real estate. So Robert L. Johnson, also known as Bob Johnson, started BET, Black Entertainment Television, in 1979. BET, because I want you guys to know, none of this stuff happens overnight, did not turn its first profit until 1985, six years later, but it was the first black controlled company listed on the New York Stock Exchange. The first black controlled company listed on the New York Stock Exchange. That's pretty deep. So after about 20 years of running, 20, 30 years of running, BET, he sold it to Viacom, which owns MTV and several different other networks, in 2002 for $3 billion. And then unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, I don't know, I mean, it, probably he would have to tell you, he divorced his wife, Sheila, who he did start BET with. Um, they got divorced soon after the sale of BET, and it was one of the biggest settlements, divorce settlements in U.S. history and what I find a little weird is his wife married the judge who gave her the settlement. It's all good. That's life. Just something to consider. Now, after selling BET, Robert L. Johnson, Bob Johnson, the RLJ companies is focused on hotels, the service industry, finance, financial services. I mean, he does a lot with debt and equity. I mean, he he just well, just doesn't he does a lot. I mean, you, you you can't even you could go on about this guy for years. I mean, and he's also doing asset management. He owns auto dealerships, as you can see in that photo. He's doing some stuff in Carolina. Uh, he owns sports teams. He owns the Charlotte Bobcats, an NBA basketball team. He's also the first black billionaire, and he's also still involved in entertainment and media. Though though he sold BT, he's still involved in that market. So R L R L J companies based off you know their public information because they're a, a 
publicly traded company. It looks like they have about four billion in assets under management. Um, I have a question mark there because you know I, at times I, I'm not, I can't read this stuff. You know, I'm not that deep. You know, so the, the, it just looked like it was about four billion at the spreadsheet I read. So uh, that's a question mark there because I'm not 100 percent sure. But whatever it is, it's a high number of assets under management with RLJ companies. Um, excuse me. This is particularly RJ. The four billion is just what his one company, I believe, which is um, RLJ Lodging Trust. So the, it's it's so many companies. It's just confusing. So. Whatever. The, the RLJ Trust, Lodging Trust, is a stock, obviously, on the New York Stock Exchange. So if you're investing in stocks and want to invest with Mr. Bob Johnson and his companies, you can invest in this REIT, this publicly traded REIT. Um, and it's about $23 a share as I shoot this video today in April of 2017. And RLJ Lodging Trust is... Uh, Self-advised publicly traded real estate investment trust. Publicly traded, obviously, it has a stock like I just talked about. So RLJ Lodging Trust is one of the largest U.S. publicly traded REITs. Okay, then that doesn't say African American, okay, or black or minority. Okay, that just says one of the largest. So let's just make that clear. Which... And we're just talking about one company. I mean, RLJ Companies is a multitude of companies. Right now, on this page, I'm just talking about RLJ Lodging Trust, just one trust. Okay, so this one trust has over 125 properties, hotels mainly, 20,000 rooms in 21 states. And they're focused on main, mainly urban high-density areas, um, not, not any... Uh, too suburban. They, they want it right in the city, right in the main areas to attract a multitude of travelers, visitors, businessmen, and a multitude of people. So that is one of the main things that they focus on in their main niche uh, when acqu acquiring uh, new properties, new hotels. Okay, some of the other RLJ companies is RLJ, RLJ Credit, which provides capital solutions to facilitate buyouts, recapitalizations, refinancing, and growth initiatives. So let me just try to paint a picture for you guys. If, you're, if your idea is big enough, you know, if you have a multi-million dollar idea, it's structured. You know, it makes sense. You, you have write-ups about it. You have statistics, data, and you're trying to look for funding. Maybe you should reach out to RLJ. I mean, this guy has capital. So, but your stuff has to be right. So... That's basically what it's saying. It's providing capital solutions for, for whatever, growth initiatives. If you already have a company and you're trying to refinance it, whatever you're trying to do. So hey, these people are out here distributing money, but you got to have your paperwork straight. So if you're interested in that, I'll tell you more information about that at the end of this presentation uh, or where you can contact RLJ Credit, which is one of the RLJ companies. He also has RLJ Entertainment. He's still involved in the media, like I told you, and, and is a distributor of content and media in North America, the UK, and Australia. And I'm pretty sure I spelled Australia wrong, so excuse me, Australia. But uh, it's all good. He's still distributing media and content. He's still involved in those businesses. And I think he owns rights to over like 1,500 different shows, I believe it says. So he's still, still making that work. Then he has RLJ Financial, which was formed to end a pen end payday lending as we know it today because obviously i mean I, i'm I, I i hate to say i've never done a payday loan but i know about it It can be very predatory um and not transparent and it just this one can mess up your life kind of you know indirectly um so he's aimed rjl rlj financials aimed at being more transparent and a more responsible i guess payday lender um, also, RJ, RLJ Companies has office is in, I mean, all over from Liberia to Los Angeles to Puerto Rico to Charlotte to Little Rock and Maryland. Forgot to put that in there. So office is everywhere. I mean, just a big, 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 big operation. OK, this is just some recent news. Um, this first period here is RLJ Lodging Trust of Bodesta, Maryland, this is just the REIT, the one company, has sold two of its hotels in New York City for $286 million, 
the REIT recently announced. The two properties are on 298 Hotel Room, Hotel Hilton, excuse me, Garden Inn in New York, and another Hilton in the Fashion District, 280 rooms. And this just happened in December 2016, so this is April 2017, so less than six months ago. He also has... RLJ Equity Partners, which is another company is under RLJ Companies, which is partnered with Carlisle Group. And if you've not heard of Carlisle Group, they're massive. I mean, Carlisle Group is the people that acquired, um, helped acquire Beats by Dre. And then I think Beats by Dre then got sold to Apple. So, I mean, you guys need to start looking up these companies. So, Carlisle Group does is one of the biggest um, pri uh, private equity firms. I'm positive in the nation. I'm pretty sure not in the world. I mean, big, big, big time group. Um, so if you guys got beats by Dre, Carlisle Group was involved in that transaction. So you need to go look them up. So Robert L. Johnson is working with them and they do middle market leverage buyouts from 50 million to 250 million. And I, I don't, I don't, I'm be honest with you. I don't understand in detail of some of these financial products and services like leverage buyouts, but I just know it's just, it's just ways to, I guess, bring companies together and they're just doing it for companies in between 50 million and 250 million. But if you want to know more about that, you can go check out this website, but he's partnered with some good people and making things happen. So let's just go over some more facts about Mr. Johnson. Um, BT was the first cable network focusing on African Americans. Okay. And obviously I didn't I didn't even realize it was in the New York Stock Exchange, so that was new to me. Um in two thousand one he became the first black billionaire, Robert L. Johnson. The first black individual to be named on the Ford's World Riches list. Okay. In two thousand two, after he sold uh, BT and you know got into the NBA. He was the first black US principal owner of a North American I said North America. Okay, that's Mexico and Canada not just America uh, Owner of a North American Ameri major league sports franchise, which was the Charlotte Bobcats. So One day I'm about to go up to Charlotte and, and check it out and support the brother But I mean this guy just has so much history and you just you can literally go on for hours of what he's accomplished These are some of his properties. You can go at the end in, in a couple more slides. You can I'll show you his website you can go to his website. He lists all 120 plus properties that RLJ Lodging Trust owns. So you can go on there and look at every single property he owns. If you're in one of the states where he has a property, maybe you can go stay in it. If you're traveling and you want to know what hotels he owns, you can go look online and he has all the information there. For if you want to go to Miami, and you can stay at his hotel here in Miami. This is the Hilton Cabana in Miami Beach one of his properties and that's one thing I love about these big heavyweight guys they always list their properties on the website it's just always transparent so this is one in Miami Beach beautiful architecture I know it's a little pixelated but you can see how that looks very nice um, here in Atlanta because I'm out of South Atlanta he owns the courtyard Atlanta Buckhead looking pretty sharp in the Bucky head so that's a nice little one. I mean, he got a couple of other ones here in Georgia. Um, he has several in New York City. So this is, and he obviously just sold a couple in New York City. So this is the courtyard, New York, Manhattan on the Upper East Side. So all my people in the city, hey, if you're staying on the Upper East Side, check them out. Courtyard, Marriott, you can imagine, very nice. And he has photos. If you go to the website, I, didn't want, I mean, I could have went on and on and on about this guy. But if you want to see more photos about these, you can go to the website and it has all photos of all the hotel, the inside um, Houston, Galleria, very nice area in Houston. Um, he owns the Courtyard Marriott, beautiful hotel, beautiful shot right there. So when I'm in Houston, I may have to go check that one out. It looks like a real nice place. I mean, this guy has a nice products, you know. So if you want to know more about RLJ, Bob Johnson, Robert Johnson, his companies, what he's doing, um, who's running his companies, I mean, all the, I mean, he has so much information on his website because he's publicly traded. Um, you can go there. You can look at the annual reports, the press releases, the SEC, SEC filings. He has two websites, 
okay he has one website dedicated for RLJ Lodging Trust because that's publicly traded so it needs its own site or whatever so you can go there just look at that one company the REIT or you can go to RLJ Companies which talks about more about all of the companies like the RLJ Credit, the RLJ Equity, the you know all the, I mean he has so many companies I literally could have did this for an hour so I didn't want to do that because I just want to give you guys general information you guys will go in go look at the annual reports go look at what he's doing go try to mimic it but the man that started BET is a heavyweight in real estate and you need to know about them. So Thelonious C. Jones, like I say, email me if you have any requests on individuals I should do on this segment, but they need to meet the requirements. And if you don't remember the requirements, go to the beginning of this video, TheloniousCJones at gmail.com. Checking out. Thank you for being on another episode of Black Real Estate Investors Developers. Black Real Estate Investors and Developers. Thank you.